Bzz, what was that noise? Show yourself. Step closer. Hi, folks. I'm playing ukulele. Super exciting. <laughs> I've waited a long time for this. Um. Organics detected. Exterminate. Destroy. Kill. Is this me or does this thing look like a connect? I don't know if that's on purpose or not. Bzz. Oh, sorry, users. I didn't recognize you there. I am inept. That's his name. Welcome to my virtual reality sandbox. A simulation of the real world final game. Meat beings may use a number of jumping and attacking moves in this test arena. More in the final game. Bzz. Traverse. Make organic feelings. Collect all 100 quills for a moderate reward. It's what you DNA bags would call a right old lark. <laughs> the writing's already exceptional. Bzz. Access granted. Press switch to enter. So, yes, this is the... Oh my god. Bzz. Go on then. I haven't got all day. In controls, I'm not reading those because it's weird. Anyway, this is the Toy Box Plus. Right here. Um, boom. Ta da! Flop. Oops. Uh, burrs. Bug detected. Please tell devs they messed up. Bzz. Nothing to do with me, alright? I'm supposed to be a security bot anyway. What do I know about tutorials? <laughs> yeah, the writing is spot on. Um, this is a mode specifically for backers of the game that reached the tier. I'm a quill. Well, a pretend VR one. Collect 100 of us and receive uh, receive a pagey. Everything talks in this game, as a uh, you know, as they do in these. Uh, collectathon type games. But listen to this music. It's it's so retro. Bzz. Organics will need impressive hacking skills to break that lock. Bzz. Or you could just give it a whack with X. Dang it, I read controls. I didn't want to read controls. Oh well. Boom! You have an attack. I know I'm kind of scatterbrained because it keeps tutorialing, tutorialing at me. So I start to say something and then it, you know, gets me off track. But this is a collectathon game like Banjo Kazooie from the creators of Banjo Kazooie, featuring the voice of Banjo and Kazooie. Noticing a theme? Also the music director of Banjo Kazooie. Um, similar, you know, art style, uh, attacks, everything. Bzz. If you're sure water won't affect your circuitry, I'll tell you how to swim. Uh, yeah, basically every all of the X rare people that were, you know, either fired or quit when when rare was uh, acquired by Microsoft got together to make Platonic games and create this game, Ukulele. Featuring an adorable anthropomorphic uh, chameleon and his his flying friend that he can use to glide, uh, hit, do other things, leap, and all kinds of, you know, Banjo-Kazooie type things. Uh, this this mode is obviously you know a, a development mode, so it doesn't have all of the moves and things that you can use in it. Um, but it has more than the regular toy box because I kind of went all out with this game because uh, I'm super excited for it and I wanted to make sure you know I supported it to to its fullest. Um, so I got the toy box plus mode, which is an extra kind of add-on for it that has a few different areas in it and some uh, battle mechanics that aren't in the regular toy box. 
So I can do a few things that, you know, the, the average um, toy box packer would not be able to do. Uh, not that I'm alone in doing that. There's other people that can also do that. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, they put together this little demo, technically. it's they're, they're not calling it a demo. It is literally, like, just a toy box where you can play around with the attacks and stuff. Um, but, you know, to get a feel for the game, so it's still kind of considered a demo. But this is nowhere in the actual game. This is exclusive for backers. Uh, they, you know, built it using the assets in the game, but... It's, it's not something that's going to be released for the public or anything like that. So, that's why... Boom! Attacks! Let's show you guys how these attacks work. It's pretty much just a spin. Crap. I don't think I can actually, like, die or anything. And this guy has, uh... Uh... What is that? I don't know what's on his head. But there's something on his head that makes him extra strong. But yeah, that's kind of the, the battle mechanics there. I, I love this game. <laughs> I'll say that right now. It's not even out yet. This is a very kind of early look at it, but I love it. It's beautiful. Obviously, this kind of blocky, like, virtual reality style doesn't really suit it, but um, the characters look adorable. The animations are great. Hold on, let me, let me try something. Leap! Smack! Yeah, wa watch how adorable this is. Lift! <laughs> you can just, like, I don't actually, is that Yuka or is that Laylee? I don't know which one's which, but the bat just like picked me up. It's super cute. I love the animations and stuff. It's adorable. And look, they're like flap, 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 flap. Yeah, I love it. Um, anyway, I, I already played this through once. I got like 80 of the quills, I think, um, because I knew that if I just immediately recorded it, I wouldn't be able to focus on like how much I love it. And this, you know, this video would be even more of a mess than it is already, because I keep getting distracted by how adorable it is! Bye. Oh, well, there's stuff down here. Um, so, I, I wanted to play through it first by myself, so I could just enjoy it. Because I don't really like, you know, sharing something that I don't really know about yet. Um, I just, I want to have that moment to myself first. But, one thing I'd, I want to say about this real quick... These swimming mechanics are actually really nice. So you, uh, on a, on a Xbox controller, you hit A to, to kind of move up like a level, basically, and then you sit at that level. You hold X to go down, you know, a level or two, and then you just steer. It's like you don't hold a button after that, you just steer around at that level. There's no, you know, like flubbing around in the water or anything. It's really nice. Uh, it, it definitely feels a lot better than most swimming games. It's kind of awkward when, like, you just tap it, and then you immediately kind of go up to the next plane. Uh, but it feels way better than, like, trying to accurately get everything, because it's like, you know, each thing is going to be on one of the planes that you can swim at. You know that. And that's one of the examples of, like, using using this genre of game, like this collectathon style, and doing some new things with it. You know, it's it's modernized. They've kind of figured out the way some things work. Like, fully controllable camera until you hit an obstacle, which is kind of awkward. Um, and, yeah. It just, it feels really polished. Like, even though this is just a little, you know, a little demo to kind of give you an idea of the mechanics, it feels super polished. And I love that. Bzz. Does the breeze make you feel alive, users? Uh, oh, crap! I missed it. Dang it. I'm supposed to get out there. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. Got it. Yeah, so each of these different sections here is kind of like a different puzzle mechanic. Just showing you off the things you can do. Uh, the, the quillies, is that what they're called? Quillies, I think? Um, are some of the collectibles in the game. They're kind of like... I don't really know what they'd be equated to in Banjo kazooie Because basically, like, you, you get a hundred of them in the level and you get a, uh, a pagey, which is like the Jinjos. Or the puzzle pieces, I guess, really, in, in Bedra Kazooie. Um, and then there's also these five collectible, like, spirits in the level that you can get that are like the Jinjos. Uh, I found one last time I played through this, but I could not really figure out how to actually get it, because it kept running around. Oh, crap! Those hurt you. I forgot. Uh, and this is going to be a pretty quick and dirty rundown. Because, um, I mean, this is awesome and all. 
but it is really just to show off mechanics and stuff. It's not terribly interesting probably to watch. Um, she's just, you know, running around doing these different puzzle things. Um, but I just wanted to kind of talk about the, you know, the history of these kind of games. Because it's really awesome that, like, all these former Rare devs um, and just, like, you know, lovers of, of these franchises got together and kind of made this, like, love child that looks and feels just like a new uh, Banjo-Kazooie game. Um, this is one of three Kickstarter games that I have uh, supported. Like, in the history of Kickstarter so far. Which, granted, is only, like, three years. But still. Um, one of which was another kind of, you know, homage, which was Mighty Number no. 9, as a lot of you probably know. <sighs> we all know how that turned out. So, to actually get my hands on this game and, like, see how it, you know, see that it feels, like, exactly what I, what I expected is pretty awesome. Uh, you have no idea how much that pleases me. Because I heard the tour box was coming out, and I was like, "Oh boy!" Like now, you know, now's the time to know how's it, how's it, how's it gonna work? <laughs> um, and it's incredible. It feels amazing. It's so fluid; like you probably can't tell, but it really just like everything feels like precise and accurate. You know, you've got all your moves that just kind of flow into one another. One thing I really like: um, I know that you can do this kind of like ride the chameleon move which looks awkward without an animation right now, but I just wanted to show you. Um, but I assumed, you know, similar to a lot of uh, Kazooie's moves in Banjo-Kazooie, that you'd have to hold the crouch and then do it. But that didn't do anything. That just cancels your crouch. And I was really confused. I was like, how do I do that move? You literally just hold the trigger. Like, that's how smooth the moves are in this, because, like, everything is just kind of intuitive. Like, crap! You hit a button to do a, a, you know, a move that is often used. Because they have the amount of controls to do that, you know? Not everything... This is my nightmare. Not everything needs a Z-trigger anymore. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut real quick to when I get up there. Uh, because, yeah. This part is annoying. Boom, got it. Okay. So yeah, you have to use the crap. Come on, come on. No, no. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, you have to use the roll move on these like slightly sloped things, um, because if you try to just walk on them, you'll slide. So that's what I was afraid of doing just now. I didn't want to slide back down after I got up here. Because <laughs> um, of course, once I stopped commentating, you know, I, I had no problem doing it. Um, this is one of the only things that feels kind of weird in the game. This like push things around mechanic, because you can't grab it or anything. You just push it, and it's weird. And like, I don't think you can really like walk on it. Or, no, I mean, it just you don't really control. But there's a there's a puzzle involved. We have to like push this thing around. I'm probably gonna speed this part up because it's boring. Um, but push this thing around along the wall. Okay, yeah, and then you can push it onto the switch. And because of the same color, it opens the door. Not really sure why that is. Bzz, almost there, users. 50 quills accumulated. Oh, quills, just quills. Okay, not quillies. Not everything has to be anthropomorphized, apparently. Um, I'm gonna show off one more area real quick. Uh, like I said, I don't want to do the whole game, or the whole area, but there's one more thing I want to show off because it, let's see, where is it? There it is. Um, because it's a different area, and it's kind of cool. So let's speed across here real quick. Okay, so yeah, you go through that door, and you pop out up here. Basically on top of the world. This is one of those ghosts I was talking about. Like I said, I'm not really sure how to get it, because it just runs around like this. And I can't seem to, like, actually, you know, attack it or anything. Which is weird. There aren't any other, like, abilities that I can, I can tell. So, yeah. Oh, I got it! Freeing us, Ghost Riders! What fun! But in the sandbox, there's only one! They rhyme. They, they seriously rhyme. Are you kidding me? 
<sighs> I guess that's fair. They're writers. But come on. You guys didn't get enough of that with Gruntilda. You had to make everything rhyme. Whatever. It's fine. Yeah, breaking stuff. Bzz. So I like a cybernetic eagle users. That was I, I kinda mixed the ghost voice with him. They're like ghost and robot voices together. That was weird. <laughs> uh okay. So yeah, we're going to go to the top of here. And I'm gonna end it off because it's it's kind of a fun little section to end on. But I hope you've enjoyed the look at this game. Because I really like it, and I'm sorry if you don't if you don't get to play it yourself. Um, I hope you know all you guys out there are backers because this game is definitely worth supporting. Although the camera sometimes gets weird. Um, crap! No! Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, camera, camera. That was awkward. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, the camera's like super zoomed in right now. I'm not sure why. What happened? Okay, anyway. There we go. Yeah, it gets caught on obstacles. Like, it's a free-roaming friggin' camera, but it gets caught on obstacles sometimes, and that's awkward. It hasn't happened any other time, though. It's just this area for some reason. I don't know what it is. Um, but anyway, I love this game. It's, it's like, definitely one I'm going to be looking forward to. Um, and this isn't really a, you know, formal review or anything. It's really just showing you... Ugh. Okay, anyway, it's not a formal review or anything, because obviously the game isn't out to review, um, but... Uh, but, <laughs> I wanted to show you what it's like, because uh, I, I can't guarantee all of you get to play it, and, you know, it's my job, if I can play it, to, to show it to the people that can't. That's, that's what we're here for, right? To see things that other people can't see? Zzz, user is too high. Frame rate dip detected. Terminate Artis. Did I did I just get people killed? Oops. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I wanted to show you up here. I thought it was super funny that that happens. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna slide down, and I'm gonna gonna outro this. Um, so I hope you like to look at this at this little game. Um, it is due out the first quarter of 2017. I think they were gonna try for this year, but failed. Um, which, you know, I understand. It's a big game. Boom! Didn't get that last time. Awesome. Um... But yeah. This has been the Ukulele Toy Box Mode Plus. Uh, it... It's not, you know, it's not available anywhere, like, outside of this alpha. Ow! 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 No! No! Bye! in order to promote or anything, so this is literally just showing you the game. But... That's all I got. Uh, if you want to see more of this, I can, you know, I can stream it sometime or something like that. But this is pretty much it. It's just collecting all hundred of the quills and then, you know, getting a pagey. Which probably doesn't even go anywhere because the progress from this game doesn't save. So... I want more of it too, but... This is really all I have to show. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we're gonna leave it on these guys because they're super cute. And until next time, have fun. What is this? Oh, can I, like, rope over there? I kind of want to rope over there. Let's do it. It seems like fun. Woohoo! Oh god. Oh god. I think I might have made a mistake. <laughs> um. Woohoo! Oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh. Awesome. There was an achievement for that too. I just can't see what it says. That was fun. <laughs>